this time. Arguably past his best, the legendary South African. Here's the lineup then for the men's 400 metre hurdles final. McMaster, arguably the favourite in five, but he's got the former world champion, Nicholas Bett, outside him. Kyron McMaster, world junior bronze two years ago. It's the British Virgin Islander from the former world champion. And look at Jaheel Hyde on the inside. A battle royal from the two proud Caribbean nations. But this time, McMaster gets it right. He makes history for the British Virgin Islands. A wonderful performance. Tonight, Kyron was the master. My focus wasn't entirely the medal. My focus was just going out there and just do my best. And the best brought me the medal, so I was happy. They are our heroes in the area of sports. Every year, after many months of continuous practice, they travel abroad and compete in many athletic feats to make a name for themselves and introduce the territory to the world. And so, it was a momentous occasion worthy of celebration when on the morning of Thursday, April 12th, history was made when athlete Kyron McMaster won gold in the 400 meter hurdles in Australia's Gold Coast during the 2018 Commonwealth Games. The territory rejoiced and an official celebration was planned locally to pay tribute to McMaster and the other athletes who gave of their best in the representation of the territory abroad. On June 14th, all roads led to the Terence B. Letsom International Airport to welcome the athletes home. As they disembarked the Inter-Caribbean and Seaborne Airlines, they were greeted by sporting officials, relatives, coaches, representatives from the Ministry of Education and Culture, and the BVI Tourist Board. A press conference was held at the airport, and acting premier at the time, and Minister for Communications and Works, the Honorable Mark Fantapool, Minister for Education and Culture, the Honorable Myron Walwyn, and other officials officially welcomed home the athletes. The Honorable Vantapool commended the athletes on a job well done and said the BVI was extremely pleased with their performances overseas. They have made us a household name all over the world and we want to make sure they understand that that means a lot for us, especially in these times. And we want to thank them for representing us so well. Honorable Walwyn is also Minister with Responsibility for Sports. He paid tribute to the athletes and the persons who dedicated their time to mold them through the years. The support mechanism for athletes is very, very important. If they're not grounded, if they don't have that support and backing, they won't perform as well as they've done. I want to thank all of you for the wonderful representation that you make uh, to the Virgin Islands because when you go out into the world, you are an ambassador of the territory and you exhibit excellent decorum. I've never heard anything out of line. If frame if there's something, tell me now in case I hear it. But I've never heard anyone acting outside of what is expected of them by the territory of the Virgin Islands. As a matter of fact, quite the contrary. We have received exemplary performances. And I want to take this time to thank Tahisha in particular for representing the territory for so many years. You have done you have done extremely well, and we are all here very, very proud of your accomplishments. And it's a pleasure to have you back here uh, for this celebration. Minister Walwyn said the territory was at a difficult time during the Commonwealth Games and needed something to lift its spirits, and that was delivered with Chiron's performance. We needed something to pull us back together as a people. We needed something to remind us that even though we were knocked down, we weren't knocked out. And I must tell you, that was delivered to us. We saw all the athletes, but Kyron, you performed extremely well. The athletes were then chaperoned to road time in a motorcade. The procession ended at the Central Administration Complex, where the athletes were greeted with hugs from friends and well-wishers. Residents also had an opportunity to have their photos taken with the champions. The celebrations continued on June 15th with the hosting of a parade from the A.O. Shirley grounds to the Pier Park where a celebration ceremony was held in the athlete's honor.
Governor Augustus Jaspert, in his remarks, labeled the ceremony as an historic occasion. He said the athletes have given the territory a brilliant day and that they should be incredibly proud for what they have achieved. What you've achieved and your participation in the Games and what it signifies is not just a personal achievement, though. This is an achievement for the whole territory and one that provides an inspiration for us all. I hope that your success inspires young people, and it's fantastic to see so many here today, but also adults to get involved in sport, to come together, to cherish the value of sport and positive competition. Your success reminds us of the value of sport, not just in keeping fit and healthy. Your sporting success highlights the value of hard work, dedication, commitment, constant learning and improving, taking knocks and defeats and getting back on your feet and doing even better next time. And the value of being united and great teamwork to achieve your own goals. You have set a model for all of us. For these values are not just ones that apply to sport, but apply to all of us and to all areas as we strive to rebuild our fantastic territory and take it forward. You should be proud of the model you have set and the inspiration you have given us all. I hope we grasp it with both hands. To have come home with all your success, and of course, Kieran, with a historic first gold medal, you have just simply been amazing. You have shown how the Virgin Islands can compete with the world's best, and not just compete, but win. A very athletic Honorable Mark Vantapool said the people of the territory suffered tremendous loss in following the passage of the hurricanes in 2017 and that it was through our athletes that we remembered who we were as a people. It was our athletes who sparked the flame of hope, but not only showcasing their talents, but by our, our resilience as a people when our athletes competed in the Commonwealth Games this year. We watched on together as a territory overflowing with pride as our athletes represented us. Because it was in those moments of watching you or athletes compete that we were able to remove the dreadful thought of the hurricanes and replace them with images of light, hope, and guess what? And gold. So we are happy for that. So from the ashes of our suffering, we saw our athletes. And we want to give them a round of applause. Hear it for Ashley Kelly. Yay! Yay! Chantel Malone. Yay! Taisha Harrigan. Vantapool said the athletes rose with their heads high like phoenixes with a spirit of resilience and commitment against all odds and displayed the true definition of what is meant when the words BVI strong are uttered. It is with great conviction that I say you wonderful athletes have all represented us as acting premier and minister of finance with the full support of the government of the and the people of the Virgin Islands. I take this time to express how proud we are of all of you. I join with everyone here and listening everywhere, near and far, in congratulating you for a wonderful job done. A brief history of the Commonwealth Games and the Territory's participation during the years was presented by President of the BVI Commonwealth Games Association, Ephraim Penn. He said the friendly games are governed by the Commonwealth Games Federation and brings together athletes from the Commonwealth nations, overseas territories, and the Crown Colonies to compete. This is the eighth game that the British Virgin Islands have taken part in. And we started out uh, in 1990 
I don't know if Lindell Chef Hodge is here. He was the first competitor in Auckland in, in 1990, and of course he was chaperoned by our great leader, Mr. Renal O'Neill. He's still here doing this work. Um, this is one of five major games that we compete in, and it's the second largest um, compare in the number of nations compared to the Olympic Games, winter and um, summer. After the devastation of last year, and we looked around and we saw where we were, there were doubts and there were concerns as to whether we were going to make it to the Gold Coast. Um, but when we went to the field and the different facilities and we saw the athletes still trying to compete, still trying to prepare, it gave us hope and courage that we as administrators had to do our part. In fact, we received a text from um, Chiron asking us, are we still going? Because he, they were preparing and that was one of his goals to be there. So we saw this as an opportunity to revitalize sports one, but also to give hope and encouragement to the people of the Virgin Islands. And we saw no better channel than to do it through sports. So we, we tried and we assembled the best team possible and away we went to the Gold Coast. The Honorable Myron Walwyn paid tribute to the athletes for being the territory's ambassadors and declared that there is greatness in the Virgin Islands. When you look at some of the countries that we compete with, and you look at the population of those countries with millions and millions and millions of people, and then you look at the Caribbean, you look at Tortola, Virgin Gorda, Jeff Van Dyke, and Igada, where many people in the world don't even know that we exist. Sometimes when you travel abroad, you get so fed up of them asking you where you're from. If you're from Jamaica, you just say yes and leave it there. Because they do not know, in many respects, that we exist. But when you look at a country with 35,000 people that will dock up aside a country with millions of people and we still put licks on them, that means that we have greatness here in the territory of the Virgin Islands. When we can go to England, Governor, at the games that were put up by the Queen and put licks up there, that is the greatness of these Virgin Islands. Honorable Walwyn thanked Chiron for breaking the glass ceiling for everyone in the territory. Not just the glass ceiling in athletics, but you also say to all of us that whatever you strive to do, Whatever you want to do, get up and do it because you have the greatness inside of you. And I want to thank you so very much for that. In his remarks, Kyron McMaster said the medal is dedicated to everyone who lost their lives during the passage of Hurricane Irma. Uh, we went through a tragedy in the hurricane and this medal is basically dedicated to everyone that we lost in the hurricanes. You know, the, um, there's, a lot, there's a lot more to it that we often don't sh shine a light on, but um, basically the hurricane was something that we all went through that was very difficult. And I just want to say I'm very sorry for the family that lost family and friends in the hurricane. And if any way that m me winning brought any light to you, I'm happy that I could have done that for you. All right. yeah. Yeah. The ceremony also saw several presentations, including this one made by the children of the Montessori School. Dear Kyrie McMaster, thank you for being an awesome role model to young people in the BVI. You inspire me to work hard and dream big. You are our hero. Congratulations, Skyla Stout. Thank you guys very much for this card. And you write about that, you say about that, you humbly pick that. Don't forget. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for this card. I will take it back to me to South Carolina and show off to my teammates that I am more love in my country than they are. <laughs> the celebrations also saw the government of the Virgin Islands expressing its appreciation in the form of the presentation of monetary rewards to the athletes. Chiron was presented 
a bouquet of flowers, and a check of $30,000, while Chantel Malone received her bouquet of flowers and a check of $15,000. Athlete respondent Tahisha Harrigan Scott said she will be retiring after competing in many competitions abroad over the years. She reflected on the team's participation in the Commonwealth Games and commended Kyron on his performances. Kyron, like I expressed to you before, you are a beast, long and short. You have done some amazing things in a short period of time, and I am happy that you can be an inspiration to all the athletes and all the kids growing up, not just in athletics, but in life. Knowing that you have accomplished what you've accomplished from a small country, that speaks volume. It doesn't matter the size of the country. It's the size of the heart and the determination and what you believe in and what you think you can achieve. You went out there and did it and showed them that they can do the same exact thing. So I am very grateful and thank you for that. We all talk about, <clears throat> we all talk about, or we all celebrate the big accomplishments. But what I want to express to the youth and to the younger kids that the road to this success is extremely hard. Very, very hard. So sometimes we see the celebration and we go after that. But then in, in, in the path of trying to achieve what he's achieved, we have some type of defeat, we have some type of loss, we have some type of this, something that we didn't expect. But what I want you to understand is that through that defeat, through that struggle, through that disappointment, that's where the hard work is done and that's how we are, we are able to achieve whatever it is that we achieve. So if you lose, guess what? Think about what you did and get back up and go at it again. If you lose again, guess what? Get back up and do it again and again and again because persistence beats everything else in the world. A team of 10 athletes and other BVI officials attended the Commonwealth Games in April. This is the territory's eighth time participating in the games that are organized every four years except for 1942 and 1946. The games have grown from an event featuring 11 countries and 400 athletes to a modern sporting spectacular that includes 71 nations and territories and over 6,600 athletes and team officials.